right guys welcome back okay so I'm starting out today completely bare face don't even have any brows on now this pencil is from pure and I'm going to be using this for my brows you guys I actually thought this was a brow pencil that's how blind I am it's an eyeliner pencil but I've been using it for my brows for about a week now and I actually really like it for my brows I think it's because it stays put and the color is nice and dark so anyways I'm just filling in my brows drawing them on basically as you can see and I'm using a spoolie to brush out the beginning portion of the brow so it's not so harsh now to clean them up I'm going in with my wet n wild photo focus concealer using a flat brush to just kind of place that down while I'm cleaning up my brows I don't really do anything you know extravagant when it comes to my brows so whenever people ask me like to do a brow tutorial I'm kind of like <clears throat> I am NOT a brow expert I just do <laughs> whatever I can to make them look semi normal okay so to prep my lids, I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 04. I love this stuff. Ever since my girl Lily sent it to me, I'm like, I cannot stop using it. It's just the best base. So I'm just tapping that on with a large brush, making sure it's nice and even. Now I'm using this Profusion Neon palette today, you guys. Look at all these bright, beautiful colors. I just had to use it. So wanted to do something kind of bold. So I'm going into this lime green using one of my DJ's unique boutique brushes. Very, very nice brushes, you guys. If you wanna get one, check my affiliate link below. But I'm using that brush to tap that lime green matte shadow on the inner portion of my lid. I wanna keep this look very, very simple, even though it's gonna be really bold and dramatic. I just wanted to make it easy breezy to do. Next I'm going into the yellow and I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and just tapping it right next to that lime green. You know you kind of have to know what kind of shadows you're dealing with and this is a five dollar palette you guys so I'm just tapping that shadow down not really worrying about blending it in too much. Now I'm going into this melon color it's kind of like a watermelon shade very very pretty as you can see it is like crazy pigmented and even though these shadows are very pigmented you know you got to be careful when you're blending them because they will tend to blend away now I'm going into the pink and just tapping a little bit of that right next to that watermelon shade just wanted to add a little bit more color in there but as you will see I am keeping it very simple now I'm just going back into that lime green tapping that right next to that pink shade and just kind of finishing up this look I'm not really doing anything super <laughs> creative or anything I just wanted it to be very very bright and easy so I wanted to go in with some of my regular you know face powder which is the same color as my skin tone just adding that on the upper portion of my brow since I do have that um, you know lid prep down that rumor I can't think right now what is it called <laughs> the uh, P Louise base I needed to put some of my powder down so it's not white on the upper portion of my lid as you can see here I am going in with some of my wet n wild black liquid eyeliner and just laying that down creating a very simple wing for this bold look now moving on to my face I'm going to be using my elf jelly pop dew primer today very nice primer you guys what I will say about this primer is even though it is just slightly tacky it really makes your foundation stay in place when you put your makeup on top of this primer it is set in place for the whole day and I really like that about it now for foundation I'm going in with my Uma say what foundation I'm using a brush to apply this foundation because 
it gives me the best coverage. I typically would mix two different shades together for my perfect shade, but I didn't really feel like it today. Plus I knew I was gonna be going in, you know, with a full beat powder and bronzer and all that stuff. So I knew I could just kind of make, you know, make it the right color for my face with everything else. So now I'm going in with some concealer. This is my Juvia's Place. You guys know this is my favorite. This one is the shade 11. And just tapping it down where I wanna kinda of brighten certain areas. Also conceal with my dark circles under my eyes and around my mouth. And I'm just using one of my Paw Paw sponges from Shop Miss A to blend that out. I love these sponges, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried these sponges because it's like I cannot go back I can't try anything else after using these because they're so soft durable easy to clean I love these sponges now I'm going in with my Becca Hydra Mist powder I have the shade golden bronze and I'm going to use this to set those highlighted areas I like this powder especially for under my eyes it just really smooths you out makes you look just kind of like airbrushed and blurred. I love it. And it sets all day, it stays, you know? So I really like this powder. It's not as Hydra Misty as it used to be, but it still works. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm using this J-Cat Aquasurance Compact Foundation. Today I'm using a darker shade than I normally do. This one is in the shade Espresso, so um, I was just hoping that it wasn't too dark, but it actually worked out really, really nicely. As you can see, it is deepening up my face perfectly with this foundation shade. It's bringing everything together to match my neck and my chest. So I really like this powder. I mean, for it to be J Cat, they really did a great job. Now for the rest of my face, I'm using my new Morphe face palette. And I'm going in with the second um, bronzer. They have like, well, two bronzers and a contour. So I guess I'm going in with the darker shade of bronzer. And you guys see how this is bronzing me up. Oh my goodness, I didn't know what to expect from this Morphe palette, but Honey, it works <laughs> it works and it works very nicely so I feel like I could probably use a lighter bronzer if I didn't want you know so much bronzing but as you can see here it works great for my skin tone and it blends out very nicely too so I'm going back into the morphe palette to check out the blush and it's kind of like a plum a very soft rosy plum shade of blush and you can see here it's just leaves a nice flush of color on my cheeks i went in very gently and blended it out i really like how this blush looks now for the highlight i will say um that is very gold it is definitely for deeper skin tones it's a very gold shade but it's absolutely gorgeous. Now the brush that I'm using is a little bit softer than the one that I normally use, so it's not applying so much product, but you can still see it here. It's very, very pretty. So I will say you guys that I'm happy with this purchase. I'm really glad that I picked up this palette to try out. I definitely think it's a great buy. So now for my lower lash line, I'm going in with one of my ColourPop liners. I never remember the name of them. The names rub off, so <laughs> I'll have to look it up and put it on the screen. But this is the bright green one, and I'm just applying that to the lower lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm going into the Shimmer Lime Green that is in this palette. And I'm just tapping that on my inner corner just to brighten it up just a little bit and to help pull this look together. Now I did go ahead and pop on some lashes. The lashes that I'm using today are from my local beauty supply. 
they are called wonder cat lashes and this is in the style march they have one for each month of the year so these are the march ones and i like them because they're very easy for me to put on you guys know i struggle with lashes so when i find some that are easy to put on i really gravitate to them so i'm gonna have to pick up some more of these because they're very affordable too for my lower lashes i'm going in with my essence uh, super curl mascara <laughs> I've really only been using mascara on my lower lashes I haven't even been putting it on my upper lashes with the falsies so it works out just fine for my lower lashes and for my lips I'm going in with my lip liner from Revolution I got this in my Tammy and Revolution collab lip kit it's in the shade glory and I really like this lip liner it's nice and dark for my lip gloss today, I'm using my girl DJ's um, natural lip gloss from her boutique. And it is so nice, you guys. I really, really like this lip gloss. It's very, very pretty. It's not sticky, extremely comfortable, and it goes well like with any lip liner and any type of eye look. So this one is called Nude with Attitude, and <laughs> it fits me just perfect. To set this look in place, I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, spraying it all over the place, and this is it, you guys. So I started out this look wanting to do something kind of bright and neon, you know, something a little different today, and I actually love it. I really like how it looks. I mean, it was very simple as you saw, nothing crazy, but I like how it came out and how everything pulled together. So let me know down below what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!